So we've officially launched our Terraform provider for Airbyte Cloud, and in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how you can start using it. First, we'll look at the only requirement needed for you to integrate with the provider. And so the only requirement is to have this listed at the top of your main.tf file pointing to this Airbyte specific version. We'll constantly be releasing updates, so be sure to track what the latest version is. Um, you can access that here in our Airbyte Terraform provider. And so right now we're on 1.3. Um, it's as simple as just initiating that through the command line to get those changes. Now we'll look at the overall Terraform schema structure that you would use to configure Airbyte properly. Here you can see like uh, we're, we have Terraform schema that you can use to configure Airbyte and version control your deployment very explicitly so that you are very aware when changes are made. You can roll back changes when things change here. You can now effectively just manage Airbyte through a Git repository, like GitHub or something along those lines. And here's what the individual setups look like for the API keys, sources, destinations, et cetera. You know, we're setting our, our API key um, we're creating a workspace, we're creating a Postgres source this time, and here's all the Postgres details required in order to do that successfully, right? Another Snowflake destination. And then lastly, you'll see, okay, let's go ahead and create that connection. Here are the streams I want active, because uh, I want that active every time. And you know, if you're really sensitive to any changes in your data pipelines, and you want the ability to like explicitly roll back to a specific state, you had in a specific point in time, then the Terraform provider is going to be perfect for giving you that level of control as far as like backwards compatibility and whatnot. That's kind of the highlights. Let's see, we have this job completed. We can now go to here, pull this back up and we can run our job details again. Great, succeeded. What's also cool about this is it lists the row synced as well as the byte synced. And so that's really good if you want to like start logging that information. The, the API is giving you access to job sync details and whatnot. And there you have it. As you can see, the Terraform provider is actually pretty easy to integrate with, and you can get started with it right now. Down in the description is going to be a couple links for resources to check out in case you want a more in-depth look at the Terraform provider. But please let us know if you have any questions down in the comments below.